Hey guys, thanks for jumping on. I am going to show you in about 20 minutes how, and it's not gonna be a 20 minute video, but in about 20 minutes, how you can turn these old rusty fishing pliers into a, looking like a brand new set. Let's go. So guys, here's what you're gonna need to be able to do this process. I picked up a little, I don't know what this is, five quart bucket out at Home Depot. Uh, so you're gonna need something of that size. It doesn't have to be that size, it could be smaller, it could be bigger. I also picked up some CLR. This is some calcium lime and rust remover. I got this as a, at a local hardware store, about $6 to be able to put that in there. And then you're gonna need a cup of water and I'm going to use an old cup. This is one that I can use because you need the same measurement of water that you use for your CLR. And of course, you're going to need some old rusty pliers or tools or whatever. And so, like I said, these some of these are not even opening up. Some of them look okay. We're going to see how this thing works. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these tools. You're going to pop them in your bucket. You can throw them in there however you want. So you can kind of see how I've done that. You're going to take your water. I'm just going to pour the water in. The water should cover your tools, as you can see. And then I'm gonna take my CLR, shake it up a little bit, all right? And I'm gonna pour this CLR. Once again, I'm gonna pour a whole cup of CLR. Probably should be wearing safety gloves. Safety first, but I'm not. All right, here we go. This is gonna be about the right amount of CLR. Look at that, it's almost perfect. And then we're gonna pour the CLR in here. Right on top of the tools. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this mixture sit. We're gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna do some time-lapse photos every five minutes or so to see how this process is looking. And then we're gonna see how these tools look. And I will put on some protective gloves when I'm pulling these tools out of there. So let's take a minute and let's see what happens. Okay, guys, it's been about five minutes so far. I don't really see any change yet. So we will uh, keep doing this every five minutes and see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, guys, now it has been 10 minutes and I'm still not seeing any change. We'll slosh this around a little bit. So this is the 10 minute mark and we will give it 10 more minutes and then we'll, uh, we'll see what's happening. All right, guys, we are now at the 15 minute mark. I'm not seeing much of a difference in these tools so far. Can't wait to uh, pull them out in about five to 10 more minutes and see what is cooking with these things stay tuned all right guys we are up to the 20 minute mark once again i'm not seeing a lot of change but maybe it will change once we dive in there and start wiping these things off uh we're going to give it five more minutes so just for safekeeping and see what happens so we give it a full 25 minute effect stay tuned all right guys we're at the 25 minute mark so we're going to start pulling these things out and uh see what cleanliness we have on these tools hopefully they're usable now all right guys as you can see i put on my fancy blue gloves for safety and uh, also um you'll need some shop towels or some kind of towels you could use a um a washcloth or something like that if you wanted but i i pulled some of these shop towels out of my garage so we're going to just take a couple of these out and um i'm going to lay one on the ground this cup that i used is rolling around i'm going to set that over there so we're going to take a couple of these towels out set them down and Hey, let's see what we've done in here. So we'll start with, with this guy here. Obviously still some rust on it. So um, let me pull out another, another towel. Let's just see if that stuff is coming off. Yeah. Hey, that's looking pretty good. Look at that. It's actually working really well too. Let's see. I bet I could rinse these in some water and it would come right off. You can see it's already, that's coming off really well. So, and I'm, I'm happy that, it, that it's working that well as well. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, it's coming out. If you can see, there's a lot down in those grooves. See right there? And watch when I come across it with that towel, it comes right out. So I guarantee you with some water, that's really gonna start cleaning up. Let me, let me try another pair of these. This one didn't have a lot on it, 
you can see it's got some rust down here in the in the bin oh yeah look at that and the joint i bet i can uh i can work with that i also have some water here let's just uh I, i've only get to the one that i'm really excited about i want to see if it did anything with this one and you know what i believe that one is going to go into the trash i don't believe yeah that one is uh that one's pretty pretty locked up isn't it so that one's gonna go in the trash it didn't work perfectly on that one this one was pretty messed up that was that was really tight as well oh yeah look at that it's coming right off so um so I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of this. We're gonna wash these off with some water here in a second as well. This one was locked up. Let's just see. Yeah, it's still locked up. So that one is not going to uh, come apart. I will try some other stuff with that one to try to try to get it apart, but that one is, is not gonna work. And then this one, yeah, that one was, that one was pretty tight as well. But it, look, how, look how that cleaned up. I mean, that came right off. So, uh, so yeah, I've got me some, some good fishing pliers again that I can uh, use to get this stuff off. But man, that is that's almost like a brand new pair of pliers once I once I clean it up a little bit. Like I said, let's run some water and let's see. I've got a little bit of water here, so I did I did hook up a hose and um, we'll just open this up a little bit. Not a lot. I want to shoot my cameraman with the water here, so let's just open this up. Let's see. Oh, yeah you saw how that was before we started this video that's actually turned out really nice this one as well a little bit of water oh yeah that rust is coming right off so um i'll close this off i'll finish that up but hey i'll, I'll take a picture i'll get a, a photo of all these tools after i've cleaned them up and lay them in the same direction i had them in as the beginning of the video or when i had that other picture of what was in there and uh you'll see they that that stuff worked really good so i'm a i'm a fan uh this like i said this is clr uh calcium lime and rust remover uh this was 5.99 at a local hardware store and um like i said you'll need that and some water and a bucket and some rusty tools and if if you've got a, a suggestion of how to get that undone uh leave a comment for me down in the comment section because i'd love to know if there's any hope for that before i throw them out but looks like those are pretty much done but Hey guys, thanks for jumping on. Hopefully this has helped you out and uh, you can revive some of your old tools as well. Um, hey, and I, you know, give me a subscription, subscribe to my channel, uh, forward my channel out, send it out to your friends. Let's get some likes on here. Um, you know, like my channel as well. And then also, if you don't mind, hit me up on my link and um, on my Instagram page. Uh, that's at Rod Slinger Outdoors. But hey, thanks for jumping on. And uh, hey, until next time, guys. Keep those rods bent and those lines tight. And I'll show a photo of these things once I've done cleaning them up. Have a great day, guys. Be good.